Now that all the parts are unpacked, let's go ahead and assemble the stand. First, locate the Allen wrench that is provided with the M4 screws. Take one of the footers and one of the stand legs and mount the footer onto the end of the stand leg. Set it aside for now and take the other footer and stand leg and mount the footer to the stand leg. Next, take the cross member and mount it to the stand leg. Notice that there is a slot on the stand leg. Insert the cross member into that slot. Mount the cross member to the stand leg using two M4 screws. Do the same for the other side. Next, remove the cutter from the box. Place the FC9000 onto the stand so that the positioning pins match up with the holes on the FC9000. And then fasten them with four M4 socket head screws. Next, locate the media stalker plates. Notice that the brackets for the basket are mounted onto the bottom of the media bracket as seen here. Mount the brackets for the basket to the bottom of each stock roller plate using four M4 mounting screws, noting that the screws mount from the top. Do the same for the other bracket. Mount the two media stocker plates with the attached brackets to the inside of each stand leg on the underside of the cutter with two M4 screws. Make sure when mounting them that they stick out towards the back of the cutter. Go ahead and place the roller bars onto the stock roller plates, and then place the flange rings onto each end of the back roller bar. The next step is to install the basket assembly. Take one of the brackets and hold it against the footer where it is to be mounted. While tightly holding the bracket with one hand, lean the bar toward the stand leg. If it touches, then it is not the right one. Grab the other bracket and repeat this action. What you're looking for is for the bar to be restricted from touching the stand leg. Then mount the bracket using four M4 screws. Do the same procedure for the four other brackets. Next, insert the three long basket tubes into the basket's channel. First in the center channel, then insert two long basket tubes in the outside channels of the basket. Grab the bars of the basket and take the center bar and place it on the brackets that were installed beneath the stock roller bar brackets. Next, take the outside bars and insert them into the installed bar brackets. Take note of the pin and hole configuration. Repeat the process for the rear basket. Go ahead and take the media stock roller bars and place them on the media roller brackets. For the last step, gently remove the packaging from the cutter itself. There are four areas from which the packaging has to be removed. Near the control panel, under the push rollers, around the tool head, and on the back of the unit. 